so at night we get a lot of crickets in our coop and so I am gonna try out this little trap uh, there was a couple people I saw on YouTube that were also doing this uh, the they more so were putting it in the ground but I need this to lay in the coop on its side and so I have painted the uh, lids there with black paint just so the crickets have more grip to get in in fact it's probably still wet paint I just barely went and whipped this together. It's pretty simple. You just cut at the line uh, all around and flip the uh, the top part inward and so the hope is that the cricket goes in for the little goodies inside and can't get back out. So I'm going to put a couple of these in the chick coop, a couple of these in the hens coop and we're going to see how they work. I've got uh, inside the bottles a chunk of bread in each one some watermelon because they like moist things and they're in my coops because they're after the chicken feed so there's some chicken crumble down there at the bottom too so as soon as it gets dark i'm gonna put these in and see how they work all right so i've set up the trap and i added a stick just to help the cricket climb in there on this one i figured i'll try two with sticks, two with no sticks. And I'm gonna lay this piece of wood up here just to make sure the chicks don't mess with it in the morning. And I got my other one over here with no stick. Uh, cover it with the wood there. And see what happens. Got my chickies over there huddling up for bed. They're only three weeks old, but uh, they chose to no longer stay under the broder, so they must be feathered enough and warm enough. I actually had to move the broder over there because they were choosing that corner. But I'll let you guys go to sleep, little chickies. All right. And I got this one in this coop without the stick. And this one over here with a stick. And I may just go ahead and check these uh, just before I go to bed and see what's going on. Maybe show you all the crickets that we get crawling around here. Hi guys. All right, good night. All right, I'm sure you can't see them, but there are, are crickets jumping all over the place in here. Um, don't see any in that bottle. And I'm not seeing any in this bottle. Hopefully give it time. I feel like I could collect so much more just picking them up. morning time now and I had my husband collect the three that I left in the coop last night uh, these three right here and it looks like any crickets that they did catch the crickets were able to escape so I'm glad that I went around with this jar and there was just so many crickets wandering around the coop that I just went ahead and I thought I got video of it but apparently <laughs> didn't actually click the record button when I was in there at uh, 11 o'clock at night so 
But I was going to feel also awful disappointed if I was up, coming up empty handed. There was just so many crickets that I wanted to get something. So I went around and basically just tapped this up on uh, the ceiling and the walls. And uh, then when I was got what I could see, just put it in the fridge to mellow them out. Now that the sun's hitting them, they're all coming back to life. So I'm going to go ahead and take this over and feed them to the chickies. So it does work where it on some level traps them, but they were able to escape. I will keep one of these and just go into the coop at like 9, 10 o'clock at night and just go ahead and scoop them up by hand because that was much quicker and got a lot more that way. So let's go feed some chickies.